Good evening, uh, John Nyan, 2 Walnut Avenue, Hampton, New Hampshire, also president of Experience Hampton. Um, first of all, I uh, apologize for not having this warrant article in earlier, uh, but I, I might add that we did get it in on yes, time. Yeah. And um, that, uh, if I can just take a few minutes to explain. Mm -hmm. um, this article, in all essence, fits a piece of a puzzle that is in a very bigger strategy uh, that the town of Hampton, especially Public Works, is working on right now with the downtown uh, area. If you recall, back in 2012, 2013, there was a charrette done uh, that really examined the downtown area uh, and came up with a number of recommendations of how to improve our downtown. Since then, um, Experience Hampton has kind of taken the private approach to work with the, uh, the town uh, in looking at small economic development projects uh, to work towards some of the recommendations from that charrette. Uh, if you recall, back in 2015, uh, we did the pathway between the parking lot and Lafayette Road, uh, and that was our first project. Uh, that project was the first of what we call our 2020 strategy which was created in memory of uh, Mrs. Uh, Tinius, who wanted um, folks to really work towards improving the downtown area. So Experience Hampton took on that uh, task to look at a five-year strategy plan on how we could improve downtown. The second year, 2016, uh, we uh, donated to the town of Hampton um, money uh, close to six thousand seven thousand dollars to put in two crosswalks uh, one at uh, across from the galley hatch and one up near uh, Ramick funeral home mm -hmm. as our 2016 donation but as we started to uh, look at what the public works was doing in terms of the overall strategy of downtown and the overall strategy being defined as water sewerage, and then you, utilizing, uh, hopefully, the uh, CIP money to do new roadways, sidewalks, lighting, etc. One of the things that we have talked about with Experience Hampton and the Board of Directors and also the business community down on Lafayette Road is that how can we participate in that strategy, that overall strategy? And one of the things that we are recommending and working very hard to accomplish is the actual either removal, replacement, or burying of the utility poles from the Galley Hatch restaurant to High Street. So when it kind of to High Street. In order for us to do that and to continue to work with Public Works, it's important for us to come up with funds uh, that would be what considered design services that would identify the actual cost of those utilities, whether or not we move them someplace or put them underground. That is where we came up with the $300,000 uh, number. Uh, we have worked uh, over the last couple of months with uh, Unitil, who has been the primary uh, utility involved in the telephone poles downtown. Uh, we have also brought in their partners uh, including uh, Comcast, Fairpoint, etc., and we uh, we realize that in order for us to move forward on that effort, we need the engineering design, if you will, uh, to be funded um, to make that happen. The board of uh, the board of uh, Experience Hampton realizes uh, two things. One is that we, as a private volunteer organization, uh, would like to contribute to that effort, and that's where you see the $30,000 contribution within this warrant article. And, and that, I might add, is a minimum of $30,000. Uh, if we can continue to work in terms of our fundraising and seeking private donations, that $30,000 could increase, which would then lessen the amount that the town would have to pay for those design services. But the bigger picture is that 
we're looking at how do we go out and fund, let's assume for a minute, and I'm just throwing out this number because we don't have a hard number until we get that design service number, but let's assume for a minute that that effort to tie in with what Public Works is doing right now is anywhere from two to four million dollars. We are prepared as a board, and we have the authority and uh, within our bylaws to do this, to go out and secure state and federal funds to bring to the town of Hampton to cover the cost of having that done. Uh, we have no intentions whatsoever to come back to the town two years from now and say, okay, we have now found out through this warrant article that it's uh, gonna be $2 million. And now we want a warrant article for $2 million. It is not our intention, nor do we want to do that. Uh, so that it's our effort that we already have some folks that have volunteered within the community uh, to be our grant writers and to go out over the next year to secure um, the amount of money that it would cost to have this effort done. What all of this does is brings all of these small projects and into one big project. So now we're looking at a project of really renovating and redeveloping downtown infrastructure. We're talking water, we're talking sewerage, we're talking sidewalks, road repair, we're talking utility poles, etc. So what we're hoping for is a complete picture. Some of you might have heard the term complete streets. Uh, we're working towards that effort to make downtown uh, a, a very friendly, uh, a, a, a very uh, residential uh, area and we feel very confident that as we have seen down on the beach, that if we can improve the infrastructure of Lafayette Road in that area, we'll also improve the business community and the residential community in that area. So once again, I apologize for the late Warren article, um, but um, I would ask uh, for your support in this uh, in this effort yeah. to get it in front of the voters of Hampton, okay. I'm more than happy to answer any questions.